Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My friends, today we are going to break down the top five winger skills for you. Let's go. For those of you that have not yet checked it out, goalremy.com, we have got a sale going on right now on some premium and elite shoes. Not just soccer shoes, we've also got the baller street shoes, so check those out. We've got a promo code for you right now. You are looking at them. They are on the screen, I imagine, and they are looking dope because they are dope. And we've got a promo code for you. It is GOLU. Type in the GOLU, get the discount. Okay, my friends, on to the vid. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is not your average winger skills video. What we're trying to do right here is give you guys the background, the knowledge, the understanding of when and how to use these moves that are staples in the game and how you can take them immediately from here and perfect them. That way you can guarantee that you get something out of the skills, not just continually watching skill videos over and over again because they look pretty and because the people in them can kind of do cool, neat little tricks. This is going to help you in the game, no matter what level you are. We start off with Sun, wide on the left. Everything is set up. There's space behind him. He knows where it is. If we look at what is available to him right now, we automatically know he should be headed towards the left because that's where all the space is. Notice that he takes little touches slow to get also the defender to stop. Once he makes that step over, he sprints out. All right. And boom, he can whip it across the the box, you know, for somebody to, to hopefully tap the ball in. All right. But everything comes in the fact that he settles the ball. He lulls the guy to sleep as he gets to sleep. Boom. He does a step over. Right. If you guys want to see more and, and check out more on step overs, we've made plenty of videos on those. So check those out. This is the first key move. You're building an arsenal of tricks and skills as a winger, and you have to have these five without a doubt. All right. So Son is about to get the ball right now, and he's going to be right back in the same position. Because he's received the ball in this part of the field, he starts to slow down again. The defender slows down because he knows all I've got to do is get him to go one way a little bit and take off. Now that he's in this position, the same rule and principle applies. Slow down, get him to stop, fake one way and immediately sprint out. It's the same principle. Just because he's done a step over doesn't mean that you can't use some other skill. But a step over makes this nice and easy. You see, boom, he does a step over, whips it across and he scores. This position right there, you guys are gonna find yourself in all the time. You don't need to do a whole bunch of different things. Pull the step over, slow down. Step over is quick, drop your shoulder, drop your hip, send your head and your body all that way, explode out the other way and finish. We start this here. It's Robinho when he was playing at AC Milan. He checks in to knock the ball back and then he turns out. You can see that now he's taken up down the field. AC Milan is trying to push up. Now he receives this pass in. Well, he's wide, like a winger would be, wide on the on the wing. And now you have a player charging in. You guys literally just have have a checklist of things that are happening, and it'll give you a signal that I could probably try and nutmeg this guy. No, it's not going to work 100% of the time, but it's going to give you a way better chance. So you don't want to try and face up the defender, pass the ball through his legs, and then run around like this. You start your escape before he even gets to you. So you angle your body, as you're going to see here. He starts out like this. He's literally almost lateral. Let the guy reach in. As he reaches in, tap through his leg, and you go on. And then a little no-look pass. I mean, you just got to throw it in there, right? What you can see is that you can also do that with the inside of your foot, which is something, a skill that we all, as wingers, as attacking players, must have. Now here you're gonna recognize a much different situation. We're charging at the defender, and you guys will see there's no special trick to this. He literally just passes it through his legs. But why is it, why does he know that this is possible? It's at the same thing. The defender is slowing down, and when defenders slow down, when all humans slow down, we've talked about this before, you don't slow down with your legs closed together and your body stiff like this. You slow down and you get in defensive shape, which means that your legs are open. That's how he knows that this is more likely. He lets the defender come to him. The second it seems like it's going to happen, boom, he's through his legs and takes off on the run. Now he's got a battle with some other, some other players. He bounces off them. Boom. Another guy's there. 
He just passes it straight through his legs. Now, why, if you don't nutmeg people all the time, that's perfectly fine if that's not part of your game. But as a winger, you have to know that a move, you literally just pass the ball through the guy's legs. If you can recognize when it's available to you, then you can utilize that. And if someone's rushing in, if they're about to stop, that is when you need to know that this is when you can do that. Generally speaking, it's gonna be easier for you to build up some speed and then cut. The thing that you guys are gonna notice is that once you've built up the speed and then cut, it's over for the defender, all right? So as we run this clip here, he stops for that first second and cuts back inside, and then he swings with his left, and now he's throwing the guy forever. And now the defender, as you can see, he's got his back completely to the guy. He's in the box. It's the worst position for a defender to be in, and there's really not a whole lot he could have done. You don't wanna turn, but you know, he's, he's isolated, the guy's running at speed. Everything should look like you're shooting when you do a cut. That's the key. It's to throw everything like you look like you're shooting. And we have it paused here right now. His head is down. His plant foot is right next to the ball. He's swinging like he's getting ready to, 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 to shoot with his left foot. And then at the last second, what happens? He cuts. He chops. He chops into himself. The defender, he can't risk not blocking that. That's why this move is so important, okay? So as he does that, he beats that defender. Another guy comes to cover for him and he's got to rush in because the same thing is about to happen. This guy can't shoot on my goal. Boom, all right? And he doesn't even do a hard cut on that one. And the reason for that is because he wants to still be able to stay with his momentum moving forward, all right? So he does that. That guy swings and misses. So we'll see that replay again. He cuts that first guy. Boom, he cuts the second guy and he can hopefully have a shot. The clip cuts off here but you guys are definitely understanding the point. And I just wanna make an extra point about how much fun you can have as a winger when you understand this principle of moving, of momentum, of stopping and going, and stopping and going, and cutting and cutting like this. Watch this clip and tell me this isn't fun, all right? Great, some of you guys are gonna say that's not for me, I'm not that type of player and all that stuff, but if you're a creative player, then this is available to you and you should know it's coming just off of understanding one thing. Boom, he's got him the first time. He stops, little inside cut, boom, cut again. He has no way he'll cut again. Yes, he did it, and he, he did it again, all right? And now he can get the cross off, all right? So you might be thinking, that's too much, it's too much. Most of the time it is too much. You're not gonna get this every second of every game. But also, if you guys have a look at what's going on in the box, the defenders are just watching. You're kind of asleep. You're not really, I mean, while he's doing this show out here, you as an attacking player can just kind of, you know, you're just going to go ahead and squeeze into your right position. The cross comes in, boom, you're there. All right. So that's available to you. Make sure to cut hard, sell the fake with your entire body. That's, that's correct. That's correct, sirs and ma'ams. The Cruyff, the killer Cruyff. You're thinking, well, that's a boring, these moves are boring. Why are these moves so boring? Well, maybe it's because you haven't taken it to the level that it can go. And now this move is named after this person. So all of you guys who are having an initial, like, why is the Cruyff is not that? I can do a Cruyff like that. Can you do a Cruyff like this? It's named after him. Now, I, I understand most of the people watching this weren't around in the 70s or alive in the 70s, but have a look at what the Cruyff actually looks like compared to what you see it on when you see it on a little rinky dink YouTube tutorial, all right? Dude receives the ball, takes it out of the air. Excellent touch, by the way, because he's under pressure, moving away. Still manages to keep it. So what does he do? Immediate principle, puts your body between the defender and the ball, so he protects the ball once he's got it down and under control. And so now he can figure out what he needs to do. So let's just watch it and just admire the beauty of what he does first. See ya. Later. Later. Dear God, see ya, see ya. Now, why does that work? Why did it work? And why was it so devastating? Why did he make the defender disappear? Okay, a few things, right? So he's immediately got the ball in control. The defender is up on him. So now he knows he just needs to give himself a little bit of space. As he swings out, once again, you're gonna see that same principle, just like the cut. This dude looks like he's getting ready to kick the ball. 
or cross it or pass it or do something. The defender thinks finally I can I can relax because he's going to do this and I'm going to block it. No, you're not. <laughs> No, you're not. You are not going to block it. That's the Cruyff, you guys. But he sold everything about it. Everything. And that is available to you. We can sit here and learn and know you're not going to do it first on your first try. No, you, maybe not on your second, your third, and whatever. But the dude figured out, just like any has to figure it out with his croquetta, that if I hone this skill over and over and over again, this can be lethal. And it is right here, as you can see. Sick. <laughs> All right, so finally, we get a little complex. We're getting a little out there with a little bit of a creative move from our friend Neymar. Okay, this move right here has a very high success rate once you understand how to do it, all right? So we get straight into the move. We can see that he's set up. This move is best used when you're at a standstill, which makes it so lethal because the guy does not expect you to start blowing past him, okay? so. A couple feints, and all he does is pick his foot up, put it down, and what that does is gives him a push, a lunge, right? Some power to press off and then start going. It has to be one fluid motion. As he puts his foot down, he brings his toe up, he starts to throw everything forward, and usually the ball kind of comes up off the ground a little bit. And the reason that happens is because A, we want to make sure that the ball, if the guy reaches out, maybe it goes over him. And B, it's because that's the easiest way for you to get going in a sprinting motion. And he knows that. Check it out. And this guy kind of keeps up with him. So what you're going to see in this one is even more interesting because the defender is moving in. He knows he has to put some pressure on Neymar uh, because of where they're at. And he starts to move in on him. And all Neymar does is wait till he stops. <laughs> and then he sets up in the exact same way. You just want to get the ball out and away from the defender. And you also want to make sure that you wind your run out a little bit away from them. Because if you run right next to them, they can put their body in between you. The ball is right there. It's not obstruction. And they can cut you off. So as you can see on this one, he blows so far past the guy that it's almost like he wasn't defending him at all. <laughs> I mean, in one quick movement he's gone he's gone and as you can see in the in the replay it is because he dove in so the guy dove in like that it's really not gonna happen you know so generally speaking he would be a bit more and i don't understand why he's diving in here in the middle of the field just maybe he's just like it's neymar like yeah, just whatever i'm just gonna try something i completely understand that so <laughs> but guys all in all, take all these moves, take every single one of these, make sure that you can do stuff like this. If you haven't taken exactly the moves that you like from this, at least understand the principles of stopping and going, of waiting for the defender to get next to you and all that stuff. Once you understand all those things, they will become an unconscious, subconscious thing that you guys just completely understand and you will react to it in the game. And it will be night and day from where you're at today if you don't have these things and if you don't understand why these things work. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got for the kids. Where I keep when you sick. Keep making that money flip. I've been on ghosts as a kid.